This week on Competition Ready, we're heading to sunny Tampa, Florida for the largest RV show in the country. This is the Florida RV Super Show, and we're here to bring one of Newmar's top of the line coaches to a pristine shine. As you can see, these things are huge. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get to work. When the world's top builders need their cars to shine, they call AutoGeek and their team of expert detailers to prepare their custom creations for some of the most prestigious automotive events in the industry. Join Mike Phillips and me as we team up with the country's top surface technicians to polish these incredible cars to perfection at that critical final moment before the doors open and the crowds begin to arrive. From the shop to the show, we're there to make these rides competition ready. Before we can get to working our magic, our new Mark coach had to make the journey north to Tampa, leading a convoy from the North Trail RV Center. This is probably our biggest challenge yet, but not to worry, Mike and the guys are ready. We're at North Trail RV here in Fort Myers, Florida. We mostly specialize in high-end diesel motorhomes. Our hero coach, it's a London Air with a 600 horsepower Cummins engine. It's a bunkhouse, so it's more of a family type unit. This RV is 45 foot long and it is loaded up pretty good. This coach is really impressive, like a mansion on wheels. I've stayed in a few five-star suites. It's right up there for sure. The big challenge here is finding a way to give the interior that five-star shine. Today we are preparing to go to the Tampa RV Super Show. It's held once a year. It is the largest RV show in the country. If you want to turn some heads at the RV Super Show, then you call in the best of the best, and that's Mike. I am very excited to see what Mike and his crew can do with this London Air because I'd like to be standing tall. Mike? Hey, Joe, how's it going? Good, how are you? AJ, hey, how are good, you doing? Good, good to see you. This is gonna be a huge challenge for Mike and his team. There's a lot of cleaning to do. We picked this coach out special for you. We got it nice and dirty on the trip up here from Fort Myers. It's all yours. All right, well, can we take a closer look and see what work we've got cut a out for absolutely. us? Absolutely, let's, let's start back here maybe in the back. Let's talk about the dirtiest part of this coach first. See that mud flap down there? It's pretty dirty as you can see, and if you walk up, it's a little bit damp. Okay, let me let me do the yeah. the test here. Yep. <laughs> okay, so Mike, if this is any indication of uh, the kind of dirt we're working with. Yeah, you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the side then. Let's do it. Let's see what else is going on here. How are we gonna wash? this enormous vehicle, because a regular hose is not going to take care of this. Yeah, this kind of work actually takes some special tools, okay. and I just happen to have them in the Competition Ready van, so I got it all covered. All right. Always prepared, Mike. Yep. Well, let's check out the front, maybe see what the bug situation's like. Let's do it. All right, AJ, as you can see, there's a few bugs on that windshield. I can see them from here. The dew's on there, but there's a lot of them up there still. A lot of bugs and a lot of bug splatters. Yes. <laughs> that kind of yellowish. So sticky. is that your side or Mike's part? No. Oh, that's Mike. That's oh. the disgusting part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'll tell you one thing, it's a real issue when it hits the clear coat paints because the acid that's inside the guts can actually etch a hole into the clear coat. I know we've got our work cut out for us on the outside. Are we also going to do the inside as well? Well, I was hoping you were going to do the inside as well, too. Wow. We got the uh, villa leather furniture, Corian countertops, high gloss ceramic tile. They go all out. As you can see, this woodwork's all custom built. So Mike, with all the materials that we have in here, do we have all the equipment that we need to clean this? I come fully prepared for everything. Take my word for it. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Okay, because we've got the wood, we've got the floor, we've got the leather, and I see it looks like glass on the backsplash. Yep. It's just a matter of you getting busy and getting to work. You know, this is where I'm going to be most of the day. I'm just going to be kind of lounging here in turn my trailer. On. Turn the TV on. You'll be working on the bugs. That's right. I'll uh, just fix myself a nice drink and uh, 
enjoy the interior of this beautiful <laughs> RV. You know, I'll probably just stick with AJ. <laughs> wow. Look at all the room. There's your mojito mixer area. <laughs> is this bunk beds? Yeah. <laughs> this RV just keeps going and going. It's almost the size of a New York apartment, you think? I'm, I'm sure it's bigger in some cases, and it sure is a lot nicer, that's for sure. This is going to be a lot of work. All right, guys, I got to get going. I have a lot of work to do, and I know you do. We'll be looking forward to seeing the coach when you're done. All right, well, thank you for trusting us thank with you, it. Thank you, AJ. Thank you. Mike, appreciate it. We got to get the van unloaded, get our team together, get a plan of action, and get, get to, to work. work. <laughs> All right. Once our arsenal is set up, it's time for Mike to give us our marching orders. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get this motor coach clean. They drove it up from Fort Myers and it was on the road all day, so it's a little bit dirty. Now to do this, we're gonna use a foam gun. This is the coolest thing. It takes all the work out of washing anything, including huge motor coaches like this. Also, we're gonna use a product called the McKees RV Wash and Wax and Shampoo. And the cool thing about this product is not only does it clean well, like we got to do right now, but down the road, the future owner of this motor coach is going to be able to use this to maintain it because it has a built-in wax. You get the fun job because you yes. get to play the foam gun. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. So, Mike, I have to ask, is this easy to use? It's really easy to use, and it's fun to use. But the most important thing is when you attach the sprayer to the actual gun, this is a spring-loaded lock. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to actually put it on and make sure it releases and locks on. Okay. Otherwise, if you pull the trigger, you could actually throw the gun into your car or, in this case, a motor coach. Okay. I've seen it happen be before. No, it wouldn't be good. But it's released. You're ready to go. This is one of those rare opportunities when we can actually really wash a vehicle. And I gotta say, it's kind of fun. We're wasting no time with this beast. There's about six cars worth of surface area here, not to mention the inside, which is like detailing a high-end suite. We've got a lot to do, and the show opens tomorrow. Here we go. Tomorrow's the opening of the Florida RV Super Show, and we've barely even scratched the surface on this incredible Newmar RV. Wait, maybe that was a bad choice of words. We've barely even polished the surface of this incredible Newmar RV. We've got a long way to go to get this coach ready for the public. In the heart of Tampa, Florida, at the Florida State Fairgrounds, a virtual city is being built for the latest RV Super Show. This is one of the biggest RV events in the country, filled with everything from entry-level campers to the highest of the high-end luxury coaches. For anyone interested in traveling the road in style, there is no better place to be. This is the Tampa Super Show, held here for many, many, many years, decades in fact, and it's one of the largest shows in the country. It's like a huge city. Once we get up there and we get everything set up, you'll be able to walk around everywhere you turn, you'll see an RV. Everything from pop-ups and travel trailers through fifth wheels, and then, of course, then you get into some of our products, which are Class A motorhomes, both gas and diesel, and, of course, the high-end luxury motorhomes that you see here. So at the RV Super Show, there's over 1,400 rigs, over 400 booths, and 65,000 people will make their way through the event in the next few days. With all the eyes about to be on our hero trailer, there is no room for second-rate work. We've got to buckle down and make this baby shine. So how hard is it to remove bugs? You know, when bugs splatter against the front of a vehicle, the guts dry like glue. And a lot of times people are trying to scrape them off with their fingernails. That could damage the paint or damage the chrome. What we're going to use is the McKees 37 Roadkill Bug Remover. 
And what this has is an enzyme that actually dissolves the guts. And then fill the bug sponge gut remover there. Feel Very the coarse, coarse it is. but it's almost like a memory foam at the same yeah. time. Now dry like that, it feels coarse, but go ahead and dunk it in there and squish it around and it'll kind of soften up on you. And squish it. There you go. Squish the extra water out. Now fill, it kind of softens it oh, up. it does, yeah. It's still aggressive, but it's softer. Exactly. Spray some of this on, let it dwell for a few minutes. Look how easy they come off. They just peel Very off. Very easy, yeah. So that's how you make getting rid of them dried on bug guts and bug splatter easy to remove. You know what, Mike? Since removing the bugs is a lot easier than I thought, yeah. I'll take care of the bugs. You can go inside and take care of the kitchen. <laughs> uh, I'll do it. All right. Now that the exterior paint is looking dust and bug free, it's time to move down to the tires. Now this is important. Motor coaches like this have 10 tires on them. By the time you pay taxes, mounting and balancing, you're gonna have $15,000 into putting new set of tires on something like this, okay? So it's important to really clean the tires to remove that browning, that's called blooming. And then we're gonna put a tire a dressing on there to keep it flexible and to preserve it so you get the most value out of your tire investment. Now the wheels naturally get a, a buildup of brake dust and road film. Road film is an oily film on the, on the road that's sprayed onto your car by the cars in front of you and it acts to hold the brake dust onto the wheel. So you got two things building up on the wheels, the road film and the brake dust. Now to remove this, we're gonna start out using this iron remover. Now this is really cool because if there's any iron or brake dust particles on here, you're gonna see a color changing effect where it turns red. We call this the bleeding effect. Besides the wheel cleaner, what's important is the right tools to agitate the wheel cleaner. Now this is a Speedmaster wheel brush. What's cool about this is you can flex it to get in between spokes, but also look at these holes here. We can get in there and get everywhere behind that wheel to agitate it. And also this is a wheel face brush, okay? And I love these things because this isn't very, uh, it's not too coarse, it's not too soft, it's perfect to get in there and get around the lug nuts. Now, after we do the wheels, then we want to tackle the tires. And for that, we're going to use the McKee's Tire and Rubber Rejuvenator. What this is going to do is going to peel off all the browning that naturally builds up on the outside of the tire sidewall so we can get the tire completely clean so we can put the dressing on. And let's get these wheels and tires so clean they sparkle. Got it? Let's do it. With the wheels and tires looking fresh from the factory, Mike breaks out the old swirl finder light to check the paint. I don't see any swirls or scratches. In fact, the finish on this looks great, and that's a testament to Newmar paint quality. This is probably a $30,000 paint job, and it looks like one. We still need to wax this thing, but there are no visible swirls or scratches at all. It looks good. tried polishing a mobile mansion, there is a lot of ground to cover. This is turning out to be a lot more work than we thought. Newmar has enlisted us to tackle this incredible and incredibly large London Air bunkhouse. Needless to say, it's a huge job and it has to be ready for the opening of the RV Super Show tomorrow morning. As you can see, the team is done with the washing stage. Now it's on to Buffy. So the tools we're using are the Flex Orbital Polishers. Now, this is the XFE7. We call this the finisher. It's a free spinning 15 millimeter orbital polisher probably the easiest orbital polisher to use on the market, 100% safe. This is the 3401. This we call the beast, okay? This one's still incredibly safe because it's gear driven, it has a lot of power. 
They're using Lake Country microfiber pads. And the white one you're holding is the Lake Country microfiber cutting pad. And this kind of grayish black one is the Lake Country microfiber polishing pad, which you can also use for waxing. It's that soft. It's very, very soft. With the guys cranking on the outside, it's time for Mike and me to assemble a small crew and hit up the interior. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide everybody into teams. We got basically three to four different areas we gotta work on. All the glass work, all the mirrors, we're gonna be using a glass cleaner that actually repels dirt, you know? So that's gonna uh, make future cleaning a lot easier. The leather, we're gonna use an all-in-one. So it's gonna clean, condition, protect all these surfaces in here. Check out those finger pockets I got right there in your hand, Paul. Okay, that makes it easy to apply them. Microfiber towels wipe off the excess. And then for all the hard surfaces, look at the cabinetry here. Even above us right here, this custom cabinetry up here, all these hard surfaces, you're holding a product called Fast Interior Detailer. This is an incredibly safe product and it'll take the fingerprints and smudges off of everything, especially up here on the gauges and the ice, the in-car entertainment. And again, so it's just work as a team. We should be able to knock this out pretty quickly. All right. Okay, so let's do it. You know, I hope Mike appreciates this. I don't think I've ever even cleaned my house this thoroughly. You're doing a good job, Mike. There's plenty of glass in the back if you need something to do. I'm good. There's just so much to do here, and there are only so many hours of sunlight before we have to pack it in. We really have to step up our game. This is the final stretch. We've been working like crazy, but we still have quite a ways to go. No rest for the weary. We're hitting this RV with everything we've got. All the hard work and elbow grease has paid off. You'd never guess this London Air has spent any time on the road. All right, Mike, what do you think? Man, I think it looks fantastic. Me too. Hey guys, towels down and gather up. You really did a good job. This was a huge project. You guys worked like perfectionists that I knew you would be. Everything looks great. Now all we gotta do is convince Joe to let us take it on a road trip. Yeah! <laughs> it's time to clean up and get out of here. All right. all right, thanks guys. This is it. This incredible and incredibly big Newmar bunkhouse is ready for center stage at the Florida RV Super Show. This has been seriously tiring, but we've done it. Now this million dollar RV has a million dollar shine. Perfect timing. Wow, what am I think? impressed. You guys really did it. I didn't think you would pull it off. Well, we did. It looks great. The coach is all done, and I can't believe how amazing it looks. It's beautiful. When I walked up, the first thing I noticed was the chrome on the bottom just glared me right in the eyes like it was just amazing. Newmar does a great job on their finishes, so we had a good canvas to start with. But still, the guys machine polished every square inch of this to perfection. No, it looks like it, it really is It basically has beautiful. a mirror finish on it right now. Yeah. Check out the wheels and tires. Wow, that looks fantastic. It really does. You can even see a reflection in it. I know. Yeah, this kind of adds the finishing touch to all the body panels, you know, as beautiful as they are. Definitely looks good, Mike. And of course, AJ. the outside glass and mirrors. Great job, Crystal really clear. Thinks. Let's go take a look at the front. Oh yeah, the bugs. Yeah, now this morning we discussed that Mike was gonna be in charge of taking off the bugs. Well, I traded with him, so I did the bugs, he did the inside. Wow. 
impressive because those bugs are hard to get off. If you did that good of a job out here, I'm, I can't wait to see Mike's work. Well, let's take a look at the inside. All right. The coach definitely exceeded what I was thinking I was going to get. It looks great. Wow, this thing looks great. Mike, you have to really put some elbow into this, huh? <laughs> that came out looks pretty great. good. Wood's all shined up. I don't see any dust anywhere. You guys did a phenomenal job. You think it's ready for tomorrow? I do. I'll tell you what. I'm going to take this over there and use this as an example to my detailers that are detailing the other 55 coaches. So We set the bar yes. like this high. We did. Uh, we're going to find out how they do. This is the best this coach has ever looked, even from brand new from the factory. Guys, this thing looks great. You did a phenomenal job. I am so impressed. In fact, this coach is going to be a huge problem for me because I have 55 other coaches that I've got to try to make look half this good. It's awe-inspiring. The RV Super Show, it's massive, to say the least. There's a lot of ground to cover. Uh, I see a lot of happy people walking around. There's a lot of interaction with the vendors. There's something here for everyone. So if you have an RV or if you're a potential RV buyer, you're going to find something that's going to make you happy. The big test is letting our Newmar representative give his final thoughts. And judging from his reaction, I think he's impressed. So this is the one Mike and AJ had done for you. Yes, it is. You know what? You got to take a look at it. They did a super job, I'm telling you. I can only imagine the kind of labor-intense effort that had to be put forth in order to get the kind of sheen, shine, and just sheer depth in the paint quality that you see on this London Air here. John, take a look around here. I mean, this, this thing is immaculate. To come into a show like this and having seen coach after coach after coach, when you come upon the London Air that was worked on by Mike and AJ, you can really tell the difference on the outside. And then when you go inside the coach, you really can tell something special has been done here. The hours were long, the work was hard, but Mike and the team have definitely made this massive mobile mansion competition ready.